Good day, students. In chapter one, we're going to talk about the setup. So this is chapter one, lesson number one. So we're going to talk about the setup and specifically in this lesson, talking about the feet and why the feet are so important when batting. So I'm going to put my bat down quickly. Okay, now that the bat is down, so the setup is very, very crucial in the performance of your batting and how you carry out your strokes. Because if you are trying to bat like this, okay, you can't go forward or back. Your base is too wide. If you're here, your base is too narrow, so you're off balance, you can easily fall over, okay? Or you drop your head side to side, we'll get to that later. So what you want to actually do is you want to get your feet shoulder width apart. Because shoulder width apart is where we are the strongest. And what we often do in cricket is we use boxing as well, just as a different terminology. So in boxing, you are the strongest in this position to punch, okay? You're not strong in this position. It's the same as batting, guys. You want to be shoulder width apart, and the best way to find that out, very simply, is jump up and down, like this. Okay. Because by jumping up and down, you are most likely going to land shoulder width apart. And that is exactly what we want. Let me show you from the side. Okay, just like that. So by jumping up and down, I figured out exactly how my feet should be and what is comfortable for me. Yet again, guys, you're going to have to find what's comfortable for you and what works for you. So in the setup... If I had to show you from the side, okay, we're staying nice and side on, okay? And in a shoulder width position with our feet, we are able to go forward or go back quite comfortably. So I hope you've learned something in lesson one. And let's get into lesson two. I will see you there.